हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फाइनेंस एम सी क्यू फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द वैकेंसी रिलीज बाय न्यूक्लियर पावर कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो फ्रेंड्स न्यूक्लियर पावर हैज रिलीज द रिक्रूटमेंट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर डेप्यूटी मैनेजर इन वेरियस डोमेन एंड वन ऑफ देम इज फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंट्स दे हैव मैंशन लास्ट डेट ऑफ सबमिशन ऑफ ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन इज ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फाइव पी एम सो बाई दैट टाइम यू हैव टू अप्लाई फॉर दिस वैकेंसी द डिटेल्स आर एज फॉलोज फॉर डेप्यूटी मैनेजर फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंट्स फर्स्ट देर इज अ बैकलॉग वैकेंसी ऑफ टोटल Eight vacancies, out of which five for ST category candidate and three for OBC category candidates are there. And current vacancies are as follows: for Deputy Manager Finance and Accounts, there are total 24 vacancies. So that's really a massive vacancies released by them. For Unreserved Category candidate, there are total 11 vacancies, and rest are all for Reserved Category candidates. Now let's talk about the education qualification and experience asked. So friends, for Deputy Manager Finance and Accounts, they have asked graduation in any discipline with no Not less than 60% marks, and along with graduation, you should be either a CA or CMA pass, or two-year full-time MBA or equivalent with specialization in finance. Then you are eligible. Or not less than 60% marks in post-graduation degree or diploma in aggregate. So you should be either a CA, CMA, or MBA finance, or post-graduate not less than 60% marks. Then you are eligible to apply. And friends, you have to. Meet the required qualification on or before 29th May 2023. So by this date, you should have all required qualification. Now remuneration for deputy manager finance and accounts. It is a level 10 pay matrix, and your basic pay will be 56,100. And along with that, you will be paid DA at the rate 42% of your pay. That is 23,562. And like this, your basic plus DA will be. Seventy nine thousand six sixty two. Friends, this is just basic plus DA, and apart from that, you will be paid various allowances and all employee benefits as per the company. So you will get a handsome package. Now, age limit and other requirement. Friends, your age should be as on twenty ninth May twenty twenty three. It should be between eighteen to thirty years. Then only you are eligible to apply. Then there is age relaxation for reserve category candidate. You can check them in detail. Place of posting for deputy manager. You can be posted at any place of NPCIL sites across India. Now let's talk about selection process. Very important for deputy manager. Your selection will be two stage process. First there will be written test and then there will be personal interview. Your written test will be of one twenty minutes and one twenty questions will be asked in that and it will have. Have two section. Section one will be your non-technical syllabus. Here they will ask management aptitude related questions consisting from reasoning, aptitude, ethics in public service, RTI, English, data interpretation, and GK etc. And your second section is more related to your professional knowledge or your technical syllabus. Syllabus is also mentioned by them. We will discuss that also. Now number of questions in each section. So your section one that is your non-technical will have fifty questions, and your technical syllabus will have seventy questions. So your professional discipline questions will have more weightage as compared to your non-technical. And marking scheme for correct answer, one marks will be allotted, and wrong answer, one fourth is the negative marking. And you have to score the minimum qualifying marks in your test. For unreserved category, you have to score forty percent mark, and for reserved category, thirty percent marks is to be scored by them to make themselves eligible for the interview round. Now the interview stage, they will call for interview in the ratio of one raised to five. That is, for one vacancy, five candidates will be called. Total marks in your interview will be hundred. So your interview is basically of a hundred marks, and in that interview, you have to score sixty percent by unreserved category and fifty percent by reserved category candidate. And your weightage for your written test versus your Interview will be fifty fifty percent weightage. So both are equally important. Now, how to apply? You have to apply by visiting company's website as mentioned in the notification. And online registration are already started from twelfth May, and it will go till twenty ninth May till five pm. So do fill up the form before the due date. Then how to fill and all those are mentioned. You can check them in detail. Now application fee. They have mentioned only male applicant belongs to general category EWS and OBC category are required to make a non-refundable payment. Here for deputy manager finance and accounts, you have to make an application fee of rupees five hundred. So for women category candidate, SCST category candidate, fees is exempt. Important dates 
as i already mentioned that online registration is already started from 12th may last date is 29th may if there is a duplicate application or you fill for more than one post then the latest application will be considered so do keep this in mind only one post for which you can apply they have mentioned that if you have any queries with regards to the application you can contact them through contact us link on the website of the company and you can drop your query between the 12th may and 29th may so now let's also discuss the syllabus for this post and this syllabus is only the 70 mark syllabus that is your professional knowledge or technical syllabus here they have mentioned that the question can be asked from double entry bookkeeping and principles maintenance of book, books of account as per the schedule 3 accounting standards then principal and knowledge of income tax VAT, GST and etc so I think in this basically income tax and GST are the two main and apart from that customs duty and some questions from TDS can also be asked then questions related to financial management are also there and questions from statutory and internal audit and purchase procedures applicable for PSUs and inventory control for material management and questions from costings are also there that is principles of costing and element of cost analysis budget and budgetary control it is hot, hot favorite of examiner budget and budgetary control sources and capital structure for infrastructure project and working capital management liquidity management for cash flow preparation then debt market and role of intermediary basically the sources of finance then servicing of investors application of computer for the above purposes so all this is the syllabus for your section 2 of 70 marks and we at finance mcq will help you to prepare for this examination and we will come up with the course for your part 2 of the exam so friends is really a good opportunity you should definitely give it a try if you are meeting the eligibility criteria pay package is excellent and also syllabus is mentioned by them so you don't need to worry what we have to study and what not we have to consider for the study so do give it a try if you are meeting the eligibility criteria and also share with your friends and family whom you find that this video might be useful so thank you so much for watching this video till the end